All right, hello. Is this good? All right, so I am going to be organizing the StarCraft AI competition at AID this October. So come talk to me later if you're interested. But basically what happens is I'm a student that's interested in research in uh, real-time strategy games. And there's other universities that are interested, such as Georgia Tech, Oregon State, and University of Alberta. And the problem is that everyone's kind of using their own framework, and there's no real good way of actually evaluating your work in the context of what other people are doing. So people have ended up running against scripts, and you don't really get uh, good feedback. You basically say, we can do 10% better than something we wrote beforehand. So people have been using things such as an open source clone of Warcraft 2 called Wargus, which is really dated. There's the open real-time strategy engine, uh, ORTS, and then there's also the spring real-time strategy game. The problem is there's no real gamer community surrounding these. So you can build AI for a system, but you're not really going to be able to evaluate against humans, and you're not going to get any really good qualitative feedback. So there's been some AI competitions in the past at recent AI conferences, such as the Super Mario competition. And basically, a few months ago, I found out that there were ways to hook into Brood War. Um, so I decided that it was time to have a competition for StarCraft and basically have people put it on the line, have a, a double elimination best of five style tournament and see who can come up with the best bots. So back in November, I put out an article on this and it got slash dotted and people have started signing up and there's over 50 participants now uh, from over 30 universities so there's a lot of interest in this competition right and that's without any prize even being offered at this point so people are just that excited about it um, and then the community websites are really excited about it as well so for instance team liquid which is the prominent starcraft website basically has their own top secret forum set up for building a bot and they're just hoping to crush all the universities. So it'll be interesting to kind of test academia versus just hardcore hackers and see who comes out on top. So in this video, this actually showed a modified version of StarCraft where units were showing where they were attacking. So why, what? Yeah, uh, so the next part is there's going to be four tournaments since StarCraft's so complex, I figured we should break it up. So there's going to be a micro tournament where it's basically uh, each side has the same number of units, and it's homogenous, so it's like 10 dragoons versus 10 dragoons. There's one that's larger scale that has interesting terrain. There's also one that's kind of a subset of a full game. And then the hardest tournament will be actual full games on a variety of maps simulating professional game play. And this is going to be held in October, so you have plenty of time. So the enabling technology for this is the Brood War API, which is actually a huge hack that actually allows uh, developers to directly access StarCraft game state and issue orders. So what happened was, I mean, StarCraft's over 10 years old, so people have basically opened it up, found out which memory addresses units are at, and painstakingly figured out how to determine which attributes belong to which memory location. And there's now a C++ API thrown on top of this that we can use to build bots. However, for what I'm doing, I actually wanted to use a planner that runs in Java, so I wasn't able to just use it directly. So what I did was I did socket communication in order to communicate with a remote process. So here's a diagram that actually shows how it works. You actually have to use a third party tool to launch StarCraft. It injects in a custom DLL, and then that DLL dynamically at runtime will inject your actual AI module. And what my, uh, <laughs> what my AI module does is actually communicate over sockets with the Java process that actually makes the decisions and sends state back. Uh, what's really cool about this is you don't have to use C++, you don't have to use Java. There's been people that have developed other socket-based protocols, including Haskell, PHP, and Ruby. And those are ones that actually have Google code projects. So there's probably other ones um, based on what people want to hack together. And there's been some more recent advances where people have actually somehow hacked into the same process space, um, things like Java. So you launch a JVM from the actual StarCraft process, and then you can use JNI to hook into it. So people have done this with Python, Java, and Lua and uh, c -sharp and .net. So basically, anything you want to throw out this, you can. So if you're interested in building a bot, come talk to me, or just go and follow the link and see the details. Thanks. Um, OK, so um, we didn't really have a response from Blizzard going into this, but after it got slashed out and everyone loved it, um, they've decided to enter into a content use license. So you'll be operating on clear legal grounds. 